A father infected with the zombie virus is seeking a home for his newborn daughter. Cargo is a survival movie about a father infected with a zombie virus who constantly searches for a sanctuary while traversing the Australian outback to protect his soon-to-be infected daughter. Warmly remind you that the video content from the film content, if the video content is on your discomfort, please watch with caution. Please do not imitate the dangerous behavior in the video content. The man could not easily meet the living people to say hello to them but the other side not only did not respond but also vigilantly took out a gun at the waist in this apocalyptic world of zombies there are only a few surviving humans because of the lack of food trust between people has become non-existent Andy and his family have been drifting on the boat for two and a half months to survive although staying on the boat is very safe food is the biggest problem one day Andy saw an abandoned yacht and rode the boat to see if there was food inside to be safe he carefully used a mirror to check the situation inside after confirming there was nothing unusual Andy went to the cabin and was lucky to find a lot of food which was enough for them to live on the boat for several months however when he was happy about it there was a sudden noise in the room but Andy did not take it to hark and returned to the ship with a box full of food little did he know that his wife Kay was in great danger. Because of his carelessness knowing her husband had found food on the overturned yacht case secretly went to the yacht while her husband was sleeping and the intention was to find a shaving for him as a result there was another noise in the room Kay felt bad and turned around to leave but unfortunately it was too late he didn't know how long it took but Andy was awakened by his daughter crying he was just about to go to Kay with his daughter in his arms when he found a puddle of blood on the floor and a bad feeling instantly came over him Andy opened the bathroom door and sought his injured wife dressing her wounds the scared husband still didn't know what had happened until Kay took out the countdown bracelet and put it on his hand he knew that a zombie had bitten his wife 48 hours remained before Tay becomes a zombie but Andy does not panic he immediately begins to pack a bag because according to the map issued by the government there are eight stations set up on land and maybe there is a Cure for the virus there without delay the family immediately set out however the land was much more dangerous than fishing boats and they always had to stay alert luckily they didn't have to walk long before they found a car but just as Andy was filling up the car our case saw a zombie coming this way she wanted to warn Andy but was afraid the sound would disturb the zombie so she could only turn on the turn signal Andy saw it and instantly understood his wife's meaning before the zombie pounced on. Him he rushed back to the car a foot of floor gas quickly away but not long after driving out Kay found her wounds had been covered with a lot of zombie blood this is a precursor to becoming a zombie in order not to hurt his family Kay wants to get out of the car and leave seeing her so emotional and he had to stop the car and catch up with his wife who's ready to leave Kay knew her end and knew there was no cure but despite this Andy still did not want to give up he forced his wife to help her into the car to keep her from doing something stupid and deliberately breaking the door handle they continued to set off toward their destination but not long after driving out the accident happened again a zombie suddenly appeared in the middle of the road so Andy subconsciously dodged and accidentally occurred into the car accident Che was a tree branch cursed through the abdomen and Andy also fell into a coma because of the huge impact when Andy woke up from the coma but saw a word written on the car door his wife's face was covered with zombie blood and it didn't take long for her to mutate he wanted to comfort his frightened daughter but was accidentally bitten by his wife who had completely turned into a zombie after taking his daughter out of the car and he walked back once again he had to send his wife on her last journey with his own hands after doing everything Andy sat down in despair and let out a roar of anger and resignation he thought about leaving with his wife but for the sake of his months old daughter at least now he cannot just give up so he decided to take the bracelet off his wife's hand and put it on his hand and after adjusting the 48 hour countdown Andy set off again with his daughter on his back because before the mutation he had to entrust his daughter to someone he could trust on the road his daughter kept crying he used his wife's former perfume sprayed around and his daughter smelled the familiar smell and immediately stopped crying however. At this moment Andy saw the culprit of their car accident, but when he was about to pick up a branch to solve the zombie suddenly Thumi stopped him just see through me with a sharp stone cut palm the zombies smelled the blood immediately followed this zombie is also very close to the Thumi she is a different way of keeping her loved ones by her side and he then continued to walk towards the 8th station according to the map. Finally in the dark when he successfully reached the destination but 
This place is a little different from what he thought it is very dark inside and does not look like there are people but looking around he suddenly set up at it sitting in the corner looking at the crack on Andy's arm at it gave him a simple girth and told him that this was no longer an aid station because of the contagion's rapid fire spread it has long been abolished by the government and he wanted to entrust his son to Ada but also he saw her remove the toupee from her head she was on drugs supposedly suffering from an incorrigible complaint and Andy gave up on the idea the coming morning she said. Farewell to Ada and continued with her son on her reverse while on the way he saw numerous zombies with their heads buried in the dirt and as soon as they passed by the zombies would be woken up Andy soon saw a truck and wanted to know if he could drive it but he did not anticipate the proprietor to be there it turned out to be a zombie following but the sound of gunfire attracted further zombies Vic was unfortunately trapped in the hole. He asked Andy to help him suddenly the zombie appeared. Not far down after getting the keys to Vic's auto and he incontinently got into the auto started the gas pedal to save Vic and drove down before the zombies arrived Vic also took Andy to a gas station where he and his woman lived and the two sounded to have a good relationship the first thing Vic does on his return is to give Lorraine the choker he set up but these are only superficial Vic just turned down Lorraine was shocked and threw the choker away Andy did not understand Andy just sat down. To rest and Vic took him out to go around and he'd no choice but to give his son to Lorraine but he didn't anticipate Vic to educate him to exercise his firing chops numerous zombies were gathered by the pen in front of him as if commodity was attracting them but Andy didn't suppose much about it he snappily answered all those zombies under Vic's leadership but when they got near Andy realized that the pen was holding through me through me is exactly what he met ahead and Andy allowed he could. Entrust his son to this couple they use other people's lives to play games and are clearly not good people Lorraine was minding for her son when she suddenly set up the blood of a zombie on her body she incontinently understood but she didn't choose to speak out but to clean her son's clothes and hang them up to dry and he came back to see the scene and understood Lorraine formerly knew he was infected with the contagion compared to Vic this Lorraine is each right he could entrust our son to. Her at the end of the night Andy eventually decided because he was running out of time after reluctantly saying farewell to his son Andy went outdoors alone he took the government issued ejector needle and prepared to end his life at the critical moment Lorraine suddenly appeared with his son in her arms she knew what Andy was over to and that he was infected with the contagion. But when Andy asks her to help him Lorraine says she cannot take care of her son it turns out that she and Vic. Aren't couple and Vic has killed her real hubby if you really want to take care of your son you should take her down from then hearing this in Vic's conduct during the day may delicacy indeed more convinced of Vic's character it seems that the self-murder has to be put back and he's suddenly allowed of the family he met at the swash at the morning they've two daughters who may be suitable to help themselves so he decided to take them there to try their luck but as soon as he said that Vic suddenly appeared and gave Andy a blow to the head when he wakes up he finds himself locked up with Thumi but it will not be long before he turns into a zombie and he must find a way out and the zombies are approaching this way looking at the fat link hanging from the pen Andy had a plan he'd tie it up with a rope and throw it to the front the zombies were attracted to the History in the heist for food when they successfully opened the iron door using this system, they successfully escaped from the inside and walked to the gas station sneak into the room to wake the sleeping Lorraine and also pick up their son ready to leave Vic who sleeping like a pig did not notice and they escaped from the room, they were about to get into the auto when Vic came out of the room with a shotgun Lorraine tried to stop Vic from shooting, but was shot by Vic as soon as she reached. Out Vic was about to come after them from over and Andy had no choice but to run they ran to Adele they eventually escaped the chase and an angry Vic kept crying outside they didn't dare to make a sound not long after Vic left they had to stay until dawn and also though still late at night Thumi was awakened by a strange sound she picked up the flashlight and set up Andy licking the blood on the stone wall he was gradationally getting murderous. After dawn Andy returns to normal and continues with his son in Thumi but when walking under a tree Thumi stopped the original zombie was Thumi's father now been killed by the clan and buried in this tree Thumi finished the prayer to his father they continued to rush but not long Andy felt ill at this time only nine hours before the complete metamorphosis into a zombie after a painful struggle Andy set up into a coma and collapsed on the ground soon he picked up his son and after he recovered he set off to his destination again it was hard to 
Find the family, but he set up that the man was digging a grave for the family and only after getting near did he realize that a zombie had also stunk him. He wanted to entrust his son to them, but he no way anticipated such a result. The man advised Andy to take his son out of this world and said he'd lead him two pellets and he didn't vacillate to turn around and leave not long after he left he heard the piercing sound of gunfire. From behind him the man first shot and killed his woman and son and eventually committed self-murder and he picked up the man's dynamo and sat dumbfounded wanting to end his own life, but his son's cry of pater made him give up this idea again soon he carried his son over to Andy told him that his clansmen weren't far down and asked him if he'd go with him Fumi's words gave Andy hope again if he could shoot his son to their lineage to raise it the stylish choice so he decisively agreed. And they incontinently set off, but when they crossed a delve numerous zombies were gathered inside Thumi said it was the zombies sleeping they like dark places like the zombies buried in the earth so don't disturb them would be fine but looking to go through the lair I didn't anticipate to see Vic when they were about to reach the exit Vic sounded to have set up commodities sluggishly walking towards the side to attract each other's attention and he put Thumi and his son to settle down also went to the reverse of the van and cried Vic's name also accelerate to hide in the Crowd of courses, but to find Andy Vic begins to kill zombies, but at this time Andy is ready to fight back see the coming as his own he decides to shoot at Vic, but unfortunately didn't hit the vital weak Andy was rather Vic knocked to the ground and also Vic set up the two children in the auto without saying a word he pulled Thumi down deed her and also picked up Andy's son Andy dragged his exhausted body to get up again. And when he came to find Vic did. Not hurt his son it turns out that Vic was seriously injured due to a gunshot crack in the last moment of his life he chose to be kind Thumi is also fine a little distraction due to a head injury and at this time Andy is gradationally losing knowledge he holds on to his reason after walking a distance and eventually cannot hold on putting his son down just a many way out Andy fell to the ground and stood up when a zombie blood covered their whole face he kept using his hands to wipe trying to keep himself awake seeing the rotting meat on the side he could not indeed repel his appetite looking at his son and he allowed of a way he would take a little carnage and Thumi's support to continue to walk hard when he could not hold on Andy incontinently stopped tied the carry into a branch and told Fumi comfortable okay because I am going now look after her for me will you do that for me music Andy said a final farewell to his son and also put her on his reverse to help himself from hurting him and he put braces on his mouth and tied his hands securely after doing all this Andy also turned into a zombie but he still didn't stop at this time killing zombies in front of the clan is ready to leave suddenly heard the sound of a baby crying they turned around to see an inimitable shock scene as the mist in front of them sluggishly dispersed a strange figure appeared in front of them a zombie carrying his son and their clan under the guidance of rotting meat to continue to cargo as a father and he completed his last charge after saving the two children they also shoot Andy's last lift at the movie's end Andy's son is brought back to the lineage and the lineage loves this child a clan member inadvertently set up a word of thanks in the child's tummy which is the father's last love to his son but also to explain